Good morning. It's fabulous this morning. Out with Minnie and um, it's cold, 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 cold. It's got to be minus something because I'm defrosting my car as I speak. Oh, no, I'm coming around the corner into the glorious sunshine. So lovely. Let me just show you what I'm looking at because it's just beautiful. Look, probably blind you with the sun. <clears throat> so apologies for that. I think this is the time when the horses need their blankets, don't they? Minnie's miles away. Crikey. Yesterday I was talking to you about how to um, make more use of your time and I had some interesting comments and apologies to Charlotte, <laughs> my um, uh, Minnie's hairdresser. And she was saying, how are you supposed to make more time when you're a dog groomer? Well, yeah, didn't know about that one. But then Viv had a really good comment and she was giving ideas as to how to um, sort of charter your time and um, really keep an eye on what you're wasting time on and what you're focusing on. So lots of good comments. Oh dear. Can you hear those pheasants? It's not great. Actually, Minnie won't chase them. <clears throat> anyway, so this morning it dawned on me that... Um, I've got to learn another new program. But you know what? When you embrace things like this, um, it makes it so much easier. And I just wanted to make a point because there are quite a few women who I mix with. Um, and I say women because it is the women that I mix with that um, are in this sort of predicament. And they say that they really don't want to go online. They don't want any presence online. I mean, Minnie's miles away. They don't want to go on social media. They don't want to do online banking. Um, they've got their computer and they'll use their computer for whatever it is. But the ones that do embrace it, oh my goodness, is so impressive. The ones that really kind of are a bit scared about social media. Morning, Alison. Social media and scared about the online banking and that sort of thing. wonder what that was lying down up there. Um, they're kind of, I suppose, in their 60s. And I know that we didn't grow up, I and mean, I didn't grow up with computers, but that is the way the world is going, isn't it? And I remember when I was a kid, and I always used to say to myself, um, when I get old, I'm always going to listen to the, local, um, the latest pop music, you know, and I'm never going to be out of date with everything. And, um, and I do try to whoop, go through the kissing gate. I do try to keep up. But it is quite hard, I know. You've got to get into a certain mindset. And what prompted me to talk about this today was the fact that my mother, who's 84, has just gone on WhatsApp and um, I gave her my last phone, so she's got a smartphone, and sending texts, which is almost unheard of before. So now she's got a bigger screen and it's enabled her to do it. My aunt, <clears throat> who's her twin sister, she's always on Facebook and um, embraces it. And, you know, if she's got to do something, she'll book her holidays online. Morning, morning. Um, you know, they do embrace it and they're, they're sticking with the times, which I know is really not easy. But when you start to do something, it's like I was saying the other day, then things become easier. You know, you've got to take those first steps. My uncle, my darling uncle Peter, who's 89, he's just recently got a Facebook account. He's on there doodling away, you know, adding his, his bits and pieces on there, his um, comments and things and uploading photos. So if you find these things are really difficult, and you fight against it, it's always going to be much harder. And that's the same really with anything, isn't it? So when you sort of accept the fact that maybe it might, A, make life easier for you if you actually go ahead with these things, or B, realise that sometimes it's in our attitude and it's the attitude that actually stops us getting on with these things and learning. Oh, there's a horse's head poking up there. Let me have a look. I mean, let me show you. You see, who's that? Oh, I think that might be, whoops, sorry, 
Might be one-eyed Bill. Not too sure who that is. Oh, I've got the shadow of my phone on my face and the sun in my eyes and the wind in my hair. It's gorgeous. Let me just show you what I'm looking at behind me because that's pretty spectacular too. That's my little house over there. Can't see it really because it's behind the trees. So, <clears throat> if at first you don't succeed, try, 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 try again. And embrace these things that actually do make our life easier. You know, technology, it's, it's grown because it's, it's so much easier to do your online banking. I know some of you will just say, no, I'm never going to put my details online. But you're already online. Everybody's details are online. That's how the banks do their their business. Anyway, I don't know if that's helped inspire you. But I've now got to go and learn keynotes. If anybody knows how to use keynotes and got any great um, tips for me, that'd be fantastic. Oh, this is the ginger one. Let me show you who I'm walking to. There we go. This is the ginger one who had a problem with his leg. I think it's this one. Look, hello, Ginge. Go and say hello. He does put his ears back sometimes. Oh, hello, fella. Look, ears are back. No, ears are forward. No, look. Oh, ears are back. Let's get away from there. Alrighty. So, have an amazing day. And um, I'll be back tomorrow with some tips and motivation. And, um, yeah, happy days. Alrighty. Take care. Bye.